everyone welcome to this video so today we have a breakdown for this trade that we have executed on the gold chart zero drawdown on the one minute time frame so right here on trading view will explain the approaches the conformations and the fractals that we have used to enter the trade and to take the profits on this trade first of all we are running right now a mentorship program discount for 20 percent uh, this mentorship uh, program discount will end in six to seven hours so this is the last chance to uh, profit from this discount. Uh, please don't send us any messages after six, seven or two weeks asking for another discount. So uh, let's focus on our breakdown right here. Our short position was from this table. The stop loss was at this high and the take a profit was at this low right here. So the reason behind this execution, always you need to think about the markets like a walls in a house okay so this is a wall right here on the house and your wife is asking about the windows uh, where we can put the window we can put it right here we can put it right here or right here anywhere on this wall so what we are trying to find we are trying to find this window on this wall where it exists exactly so how we can find this we can find this based on a geometric structure on the financial markets so yesterday when we are sitting on the chart somewhere right here, we saw that we have a strong push to the upside right here with a corrective way. So we took the Fib retracement from this toe to this toe right here. So right here at the high, we have 1.618 rejection from this high and then a rejection from 2.618. And this is a famous geometric structure on the financial markets. So I want you to focus on the level of 1.618 on the Fib ret retracement right here. So what we can see exactly, we can see that after this push to the downside, the market has formed this fractal. So all this movement right here was rescaled right here. So what happened later, a strong push to the downside and we go back to the slow. So we'll expect the same thing to happen later. So that's why we have expected the breakout of the slow. So now I know where exactly I have my take a profit, where uh, the price will go on the next few hours, few minutes. So what I need to do next, I need to identify the entry level because this is not trading if I have this range right here. It's more, I think, than 100 pips. Yeah, so this is 100 pips range right here. So the price can go right here and then go to the take a profit. So I need to find exactly where the price will reject from here and go down or from here or right here. I see a lot of people trading in this way. They uh, find the direction using any other strategy and then uh, they have a range Every time the price goes up, they take a short. Every time the price goes up, they take a short. Uh, this is not trading, honestly. This is a gambling, okay? It's better to go and gamble than uh, trading in this way. So right here, we said that this is our wall right here, and this is our window. Right here, of course, we have a nonlinear dynamic system. So we need to fix this in this way. Okay, and right here we have the other segment at this area. So what we are waiting for, we are waiting for the other segment where we're short. So uh, right here we have used two confirmations to execute uh, and to find the rejection level. The first one was based on this fractal right here. So we can see after creating this high, the price goes on a deep retracement right here. So we are waiting for a deep retracement but we can't rely on this fractal to find exactly the entry point. So what we'll do, we'll use another professional technique. So we'll split the screen into two parts. Right here we are on the gold on the one minute time frame, And right here, this is the gold on the daily chart, okay? So I will take a copy of this fractal right here. This copy is on the daily chart, and then I will move it right here. I make it smaller in this way so I can find it later on the one minute time frame. 
Okay, it's a little bit hard to uh, take it, but step by step we'll do it. So in this way, and now we'll put it right here on the one minute chart. So we have copied this copy from the daily chart and we took it to the one minute chart. So maybe we need the five minutes so we can rescale it in this way. Okay. So I don't need any more the daily chart. I already uh, took the copy and then I will focus at this movement right here. So this is the fractal right here. I will put it outside and now I will study the self-similarity uh, between the fractal and between the chart. Right here we have zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see right here, we have a curve, one, three, five. Three was between one and five and five was higher than one. So after the breakout of the high one, I will take my short position. I know that the price will go to the down. So we have finished numbering the copy of the fractal. Now we'll go to the chart. So right here we have zero, one, two, and this is the three, we are waiting for four and then five. So this is three at this highs right here, we have equal highs, so it's the same. So let's wait for the price to develop and to break the high one. So right here we have the curve, one, three, five. And as you can see, we have four higher than two, we have a low, uh, higher low. So right here, we should have a higher low, the same one. Okay, so let's move it right here. So this is a three and finally this is five. So how I identify exactly using the FIBS, I can identify the entry level right here. As you can see, the ratio of the breakout there is the same ratio of the breakout right here. Three was lower than one and lower than five. Five was higher than one and three, both of them. And this is our entry level right here. So this is simply how we do it from the daily chart. We get the entry on the one minute time frame using the nonlinear dynamic system of the financial markets and in other simple terms using fractal geometry. So right here, finally, we have the window and the wall that we are talking about from the beginning. So that's why how we have identified the short position level and we have identified the take a profit based on all of this. So as you can see, it's not that easy. Uh, just it's not a 10 minutes or five minutes video. So you think that this is an easy process. Uh, it requires a lot of confirmations, a lot of understanding, a deep thinking and deep understanding of uh, the dynamics of the financial markets. Uh, of course, this is a very, very advanced level of trading fractal geometry. So uh, right here, the mistake that most of the people would do, they will consider uh, this one as a Y model. Uh, it's not a Y model. This is not where you find the Y model. Usually you can find it right here. Uh, this is completely different. Uh, 